Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a hyperlink today. Um, even though I am showing you how to find pieces for ceramics, the same process is used for creating a hyperlink in your Google Slides regardless of your class. So, there you go. So I have my Google Slides open, in this particular case, how to create a hyperlink. And I'm going to go to my example slide. And I need to go and I need to search. And I'm going to search for... Um, Oh, altered wheel thrown pottery. Let's see what I get there. And I'm going to go to images. And there we go. So I'm going to take a look down, check some things out, and I'm going to select this one. Because that's pretty that's pretty awesome. And I could just right click and copy image. Um, sometimes that works. So if you copy the image, then you can just go and paste. Or sometimes you need to use the snipping tool. If you've not used the snipping tool, you need to, um, you can just go down to the bottom left corner of your computer, type in snip, it'll come up. And for example, actually, if I type in there now, type in snip, and there's my snipping tool. And if I right click on it, I can pin to my taskbar. Mine is already pinned, so but you can pin it to your taskbar and then it's always there. So again, so I'm going to snip. So I clicked on my snipping tool icon, I'm going to select new, and just click and drag, and then that's paste on I paste it onto the snipping tool um, notebook. And then I'm going to go back to my hyper, how to create a hyperlink slide, and I'm going to control V and pops it right in there. The reason I like this better that sometimes than, um, than just the copy image, if the image is from a site that is blocked for you, that will not work very often. So this always works. After that, I want you to insert a text box. And so I'm just going to insert my text box below. You can insert it beside however you want there. So I need to go back. And if I can, I'm going to click on that. And so I find out that it is an altered piece by Tony Winchester. And so I'm going to go back. But I'm going to, before I go back, I'm going to copy that web address. So control C. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to type in his name, Tony. Winchester. I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to go over to this this insert link and I'm going to paste the web address that I copied and I'm going to apply and then that's going to be a link back to that website. Now if that website that you tried to go to is blocked instead just use the um, the Google search address. It's not ideal but at least it gets me back to where you were so I can check things out. And I also would like you to um, make notes about why you liked that particular piece. So not just the link, but also a couple notes about what you like about that. It can be the same text box or it can be a separate one. Um, in the notes, don't just write, I think this is cool. Why do you think it's cool? What is it about this? I think this is awesome. I like the contrast between um, the red and this, I like the way it's holding that. It looks very precarious. I like the way the movement goes from this really wide section, gets narrow, and it flows back out. And that goes back at, an, at the other angle. So those are things that I like about it. Again, that can be in the same text box, or it can be in a text box beside. 